here we have my IBM 486 personal computer 330 the exterior. it's basically a 486 computer now you'll notice that there's a DVD drive in here that's obviously not the uh, correct drive I couldn't find a IDE CD-ROM drive anywhere so I'll just put stuck this in for now it does work you can't watch movies on it of course but it does work as a drive you got your floppy drive underneath of course it takes you out 3.5 discs now I'm just going to be tinkering about with the computer in this video it's just a basic video because years ago I did one about the IBM PS2 now this is a different system it's got 16 megabytes of RAM a 270 megabyte hard drive which is original and still works with no bad sectors and it's got an AWE 64 or 32 ISA based sound card and an NE2000 compatible Ethernet LAN card the door on the front slides to hide the uh, drives as well it is a bit mucky but it does need a bit of a clean up but it is a very old system so, without further ado, let's turn it on. The power button's right here. Make sure there's no disk in the drive what will try and boot from it. So let's turn it on. So, here we go. There's the IBM splash screen on it. I can go into configuration here. Hopefully. It does say keyboard error, so I must have pressed that too early. You did get that a lot with the old systems. If you press the keys too early, it recognises as a keyboard error. You will notice I'm only using the television set as a monitor because I don't have a CRT monitor for this system anymore, unfortunately. Go into configuration, have a look at the BIOS. It's something called Sure Path BIOS. Should come on in a minute. I'll zoom in a bit so we can see. So uh, yeah, so we can have a look at the uh, systems summary. So uh, you probably haven't saw a BIOS that looks like this for a while. Looks like it's an IBM BIOS. It's actually made by IBM as well. So system summary. I'm trying to get the camera angle. So I can see it's got a 486DX2, 50 megahertz processor. It's got an internal co-processor, system memory 640 base. 60, around about 16 megabytes of extended. We got an onboard Suez Logic GD54 VGA card with a cache 128. Uh, we got 1.4 megabyte, 1.44 megabyte 3.5 floppy drive, 270 megabyte hard drive, and yeah, it even tells you that the mouse is plugged in. So you've got some uh, serial numbers there. So you have the serial ports have been disabled and so has a parallel port for some reason. Yeah, so we've got Sirius Logic, one megabyte of video RAM. It even has the correct date and time. So I recently replaced the BIOS battery in this. Oh uh, yeah, so all other stuff about ISA legacy, these are the memory IO and DMA and stuff. So if we exit setup and boot up the system. So BIOS screen does stay on for a while. Should be able to uh, boot up in a minute. So starting MS DOS. So I've got MS DOS on here. So there's your sound card driver. It's a SB32 plug and play ISA. This this computer has no PCI slots. They are all ISA. 
So as you can see we've got an FNET on IL340, IRQ, it's not a 10, it's IRQ10340. We'll just wait for it to uh, do its stuff. So if I go into the network folder, we can have a look. I've got a packet driver on here, so if I do DHCP, so okay, so I've got to set the uh, MT. Could not set up. Yeah, so I've got to. Uh, what is it now? So that should do it. So we've got the DHCP working. So now I can. I've got a program called IRC Junior, which is a DOS based chat client. So if I put in uh, IRC dot geek shed dot net slash the shed so as you can see I am now in chat on a four eight six using MS DOS so this is the shed room on the internet on geekshed.net I don't know if anyone's available in here we can do uh, try another room join Amiga there might not be anyone about I don't know but yeah that's uh, IRC working in MS DOS. So, if I come out of it, all four so I've got Windows on here, Windows for Workgroup 3.11, as you can see. Just connecting to the network. So yeah, Windows is on here as well. I've got all the basic utilities. Got our paintbrush, of course. Now I don't want to save the most calculator clock. Of course, a bit of solitaire with the old decks. Wine sweeper. Uh, with our control panel. And most interestingly, I've got MIRC on here, the 16 bit old version. And uh, I don't want to register this old piece of software. Just close this down. Connect to IRC server. As you can see, we'll try chat world. Oh, there's no one in that one. Connect again.
So there's plenty of rooms on here. Try Windows 95. Well, there doesn't seem to be anyone in this room either. I'm not having too much luck on this, am I? Try me go again. So as you can see, uh, chat works pretty good on it. Not that I don't can't seem to find a populated room now. <laughs> Sure, Windows one. Yeah, the chat rooms aren't too busy at the moment. Yeah, so. As you can see, this one, this one's got some people in it. So if we come out of that, now in File Manager, I think I've got some DOS games on here. My speakers on. Yeah, so. I don't know if all these games work in, it might be better actually to uh, exit to DOS first. So I've got Map to Call of the Shadows on here. Listen to that ISA sound blaster. Doing its magic. This is a great game, this is. New mission. Hey, it's actually a fit. If I try Rookie, so I'm not very good at games. Sorry about the focusing issues. Brilliant game, absolutely brilliant. Four eight six. That's wraps. I recommend that game. It's really good. Uh, what else we got? We got uh, Doom. I think Doom works okay. Doom. Good old Doom. This is the ultimate Doom version one point nine. Okay, so I've got no sound, uh, but yeah, the, the sound isn't set up correctly, but as you can see, Doom's pretty smooth, works pretty good on this 486. Frame rate's nice. Yes, that's Doom. Uh, let's have a look. What else can we do on the 486? Tell you what, I'll go back into... Uh,
Yeah, I think when you go into Windows, it uh, messes up with the networking DOS, so I'd have to do all of the HCP release and everything. I'm not going to bother doing that. Uh, let's have a look in games. Set sound. Right. Hopefully that should do it. With any luck. I've got to be quick. Yeah, we have sound. There's no music because I haven't got the CD in. Let's sit the music's on the CD. Don't tell me it's crashed. No. It is quite slow on this computer, to be honest, this uh, Destruction Derby. It's, I think it's more designed for higher spec, 486s and Pentiums even, maybe. This is, the first time I played this game was on the uh, PlayStation 1. Go! As you can see, it's really slow, it's pretty unplayable, to be honest. And there we go. Wow. Wow. Pretty slow. I think I'll come out of this one. See if it will let me. Yeah, it's a bit too unplayable. Need a faster machine for that game, to be fair. I don't even know how to get out of it. I don't want to do all this. How do I get out of it? Like that. Escape key. Simple as that. I've got a... Uh... Yeah, so I've got um Duke Nukem, I think. It looks like it has. No, that's not Duke Nukem. It is, but it's not Duke Nukem 3D. Commander Keen games on here. It's mad to think that these games were uh, made by the same people who made, made Doom. Right. My camera's warning me I'm running out of battery, so I've got to end the video here. Hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.